Hi, I'm Maura Gamble. Um, at the moment, the basil in the garden is just absolutely fantastic. And one of the favourites in my household is pesto. So it's a perfect time to make it now. One of the things I love to do with pesto is not just make it from basil though, is to go out and find a whole lot of different greens that are growing in the garden. And I can make up kind of like a superfood pesto and, and pack full this wonderful sauce for dinner, um, full of all different sorts of nutrients for the kids. Um, and I use pesto for lots of different things. You can make pesto pasta, we can put it on a sandwich. I add it into things like soups or stir fries. I use it as a flavouring for all different sorts of things. It's just a fabulous way to get lots of greens into the kids. Um, so I like to use things like garlic chives. Now garlic chives give you the flavour of garlic but without having the garlic. So I'm growing an abundance of garlic chives in my garden and I'll show you soon that both I use the flowers and the leaves. Um, I also harvest a variety of different sorts of perennials, everything from uh, sacred basils to cranberry, hibiscus, sorrel, and whatever it is that's really going well at the time, you can add into your pesto. So the ratio I use for pesto is basically two cups of leafy greens, a lime from the garden, and I've got a couple of beautiful limes that are just fresh from my tree today, half a cup of oil, and a quarter of a cup of toasted seeds. You can use other things if you like. You can put some parmesan in if you want to have some cheese. You could add some extra salt or something. But I think just those four first things that I mentioned, and I'll write them down in the ingredients down below, um, that is all you need for a, just a, a beautiful pesto sauce that comes straight from your garden. So the first thing I'm going to harvest is the basil behind me. Now one of the things with basil, to make sure that you get extra leaf, it's a really good idea to come in and keep snipping off all these little flower tips like this. And that way it's going to get up more and more leaf all the time. So I'm just going to take those off on the side and I'll go around and see if I can harvest the really nice, soft, leafy green sections. And these are going to be the bits that make the beautiful pesto. So I'll that into my bowl. So I'm going to put this aside here with my lime and head out into the garden and go and get a whole range of other leafy greens. So I've got a wonderful array of things today. We, we've got some rocket, Welsh onions for a nice oniony flavour, lots of garlic chives for the garlic flavour, but even more so the flowers of the garlic chive are what's going to give it its real garlicky flavour. They are just magic. Some beautiful colour of the cranberry hibiscus. It kind of gives a little bit of a lemony flavour, which is kind of a nice balance with the lime and also helps to replace the need for having salt. Also in here we have some parsley, little snips of parsley, and some purple basil we found, and also the sacred basil as well. So there's little snips of sacred basil in here too, tulsi. So there's a whole range of things. Sometimes I go out and there's maybe 20 different varieties. I could also add things like pumpkin leaves, all different sorts in here. But I think this is good. We've got lots of Lots of material to play with. So I reckon we've probably got over two cups here. So I'm just going to up my, my ratio a little bit. Um, and all we need to do is grind the sunflower seeds. I just toasted these lightly on a hot plate. And that makes them really lovely in the pesto mix. You can have them raw as well if you like. 
So I use my trusty coffee grinder to do this job. So I just simply put them in here. Okay, so I can put that straight into my food processor. Simply just put all of the leaf, maybe rip it up a little bit to make sure it doesn't get tangled up in the blades. This is very much a garden based pesto, this one. All hands on. And on my, my um, basil, yeah, that's quite a lot packed into that. That's wonderful. Now, the oil. So for this amount, I will use probably about half a cup of oil, maybe a little bit more. So there we go. I'm going to pour that in. And not to forget the lime. So I am going to just slice one lime in half. Move my basil off cup. I really like these, they're very simple for squeezing the lime or lemon. Squeeze that in. On the side, next one. Yeah. Now all I need to do is to blend that all up together. enough. Fantastic. It looks amazing. Can you see inside there? I am going to give this a taste test right now. Some carrot ready. Dip that in. Mmm, that is incredible. The flavours of that are just fabulous. We're going to have a really nice dinner tonight. So now all I need to do is to, to scrape it into my jar because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to eat all of this tonight. Now once I've got this all in the jar, I make sure that I have a little layer of oil covering the top and then I can store it in the fridge for quite some time um, before I need to eat it. Maybe, you know, a week or two, although I'm pretty sure it's not going to last that long. There's just one other thing too. Limes from the garden make fantastic cleaner for your silverware or your appliances. You just rub it in and wipe it off and it takes all the streaks, all the marks, no need for stainless steel cleaner. You can grow your own cleaners at home. So pesto and a cleaner from one meal, fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed watching how to make superfood pesto uh, from your garden. I'll put the recipe below, give it a try. It's just so delicious and so healthy. Uh, it's all, it is gluten-free, it's paleo, it's all of those things. It's, it's a wonderful food. Um, so thanks for watching. It's Moray Gamble from Our Permaculture Life. Don't forget to subscribe and also consider uh, becoming a patron on my Patreon account. I look forward to seeing you next week. We've got lots more fantastic little clips coming up soon about simple things you can do around your house to become more sustainable and more ecological. So I hope to see you soon. Moray Gamble, Our Permaculture Life.